What's going on guys, Matt over here with Lethal Garage and today I want to talk about a new piece from BMR that I just put on the car and that's the rear cradle brace. Now BMR has just recently rolled out a couple new products for our cars and as you guys know I already have the full setup on my rear, I have the sway bars and in-links up front but the one new piece, or actually technically three new pieces they came out with is the front, the front side and the rear side of the rear cradle brace, that's a lot of rears. Um, your rear crater brace stock is literally just two metal arms hanging down on the back side and this is think of it as like a strut tower brace for the back bottom side of your vehicle just linking both sides together it's going to make it stiffer it's going to help with wheel hop anything like that it's just more structural rigidity in the car uh, and hopefully it gives me better traction and all sorts of other stuff so in this install guide i'm going to show you the bmr rear cradle brace because I don't have the front cradle braces yet. Uh, they're incoming. The fronts are two pieces that swipe on each side and then the rear is one solid piece that goes across the back. So uh, this is just for the rear of the rear cradle brace and then I'll be following up with a video with the front side ones. Um, the install is not too difficult but let's get right into it. But now we have the rear cradle mount. This is one of the rear cradle mounts. It's the rear side of the rear cradle. They also have the front side mounts. I don't have those yet but I'm gonna slam this in as well. It's just four bolts, shouldn't be too difficult. So you'll see the two black little cradle, They're, I don't even, those things are so tiny. Um, they don't span the whole car, but you'll see this one does, and it connects both sides together, making it stiffer, and hopefully helping with wheel hop and side to side. Yay. Get under there and push with my legs. Oh. Yeah, that might do it. <laughs> yeah, that'll stop one day. But there you have it. That is the rear, rear cradle brace install from BMR. If you guys have any questions or want to know details on the product, they are down below in the description. Huge shout out to Fast Tech Performance for getting me this product and also BMR for making great products. It looks really cool. I love the way it looks on the car. Uh, now it's really to go to the track. I, basically, I have all sorts of parts uh, for road course. And as you know, I've been doing lots of drag racing. Uh, the, again, the hope for my car is to be able to do all of it. So I, I want this car to be a Swiss Army knife. And a lot of people are like, dude, you're crazy. I'm never gonna get the best times ever on a road course track. I'm just not, I'm not gonna push, push my car that hard. But yes, I do wanna go to the road course with a car. Maybe I will get that itch to go all the time. There's so many guys out there in this area because uh, Big Willow is not too far away from here and they go like every weekend. It's impressive to see them out there. It's impressive to see their cars. They're doing all sorts of stuff, getting amazing times. Hopefully, uh, I can get out there once I get additional cooling or I'm gonna have to detune my car because my IATs with the Pro Charger on a road course just get way too hot. So there's a lot of additional cooling you have to think of. They, so I have to look at my options. We're even looking at potentially doing meth cooling on the actual intercooler or potentially nitrous cooling on the intercooler. Not shooting nitrous or meth in the car and doing that whole thing, literally using it to cool down the intercooler to drop my IATs. 
So those are some of the things we're talking about. Obviously going to be jumping into trans cooler and better oil coolers and stuff like that. So we're easily looking at a couple grand to make this all work. It's just, it's more money guys. It's more. And then on top of that, going to the track tires and all that stuff. I got to save my pennies. It's going to be a while. That's why I'm kind of setting like spring time to go to the track. Give me some time to save up some dollars to potentially do some of these upgrades uh, for my power level. And then the other side is, is like my car makes so much power with these r eights, they break free all the time. So I'm pretty sure if I do go to the track, we'll have to detune it a little bit to be able to get down to just traction. So, or maybe I got to look into doing a dedicated style road course track tire. That's just going to have amazing grip, but those get really, really expensive. So yes, I'm rambling. Thanks for joining me for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, subscribe. If not, likes, comments, shares appreciated. But until next time, hope to see you guys on the road.